little tip over here. I, I mean, when you put the camera on the wall, remove the base so it's easier for you to drill and put the screws before you uh, put the camera back together. All right, quick tip. Tip number two, if you want to loosen the camera, uh, and loosen the screw and this thing will turn to the angle you want, okay? It, it moves. Can't do it with one hand, but it moves. See, it's moving. All right, so loosen the screw to turn this to your free to make it to face to how you want it. Hello, everybody. I just got this Night Owl 1080p resolution for camera wired uh, security system for $99 at Walmart. Uh, I think regular price is like $100, $200. I, I, I don't remember. But it's around, I think it was 200 bucks. Well, 179, something like that. Anyway, uh, this one has a one terabyte hard drive and smart detection technology, built-in spotlight, and uh, and you can add eight cameras because this is an eight-channel camera. And sorry, eight-channel uh, DVR, not camera. So uh, it's supposed to come with four wired spotlight cameras, one camera power adapter. One four-way power splitter, four by sixty feet video power camera cables, and four mounting hardware and screw packets. And the DVR it comes with uh, one by eight, so one DVR with eight channels, uh, wire DVR with one TV, one DVR power supply, one by six foot HDMI cable, one RG forty-five Ethernet cable. One USB mouse and, and a support manual and and window sticker. Anyway, uh, the reason I didn't go with a 4K because uh, I don't want to run any more wires at the moment. I don't I don't want to run it because uh, my old Simodo that I'm kind of half replacing because there's eight cameras on that one. This one only has four, but you can put another four if I want to add some more. Anyway, I already have existing wires that's running the VNC wires, so I'm just gonna upgrade the. The four, the ones in the front and one in the back, three in the front, one in the back. So at least we I got a better resolution and and uh, hopefully better resolution. And the fact that my Zimodo, it's a six-year-old camera system so since 2016, is I can't see it anymore online. It's just blank. So I'm having issue watching it online because it's an old technology. So. I'm upgrading this one. Hopefully, this one doesn't. Uh, isn't, I can see it online too, not like my LG model. So, hopefully, the support with this one will uh, last longer than uh, six years. Alright, so. And if I if, if you do want a camera, if, and if you haven't have any setup at all, go with a 4K with a POP power over Ethernet. Yeah. So, that one is better than this one. But since I already have the existing uh, line cables, so. I'm just using this one for now until I decide I'm gonna run the wires. Okay, so let's open this up. Hopefully, everything's inside. Why too many tapes? I don't know. Hopefully, it's not an open box. I think it's suspicious, by the way, when you have too many tapes. Hopefully this is not a return. Start with the camera. So there's four uh, BNC wires over here. Yellow power. These are the power, and these are the medium. 
then there's four of them, 60 feet of piece, which I'm not gonna use since I already have existing line. And this is the camera, it's very light. There's one. It's made out of plastic. My old Zimoto is made out of metal. This is all plastic. Cheapy plastic. Maybe that's why it's only $100. Very cheapy looking. Don't know how the, how this thing will last in the elements. Hopefully it does. That's one, two, three, four. Four plastic cameras. And why this is out. Look like it's an open, it might have been an open box. And this was already out. Then this is the power cable. Maybe that's why it was taped one a lot because it probably was open already. And this is the power supply. And this one plugs into the BNC wire on the other side of this one this power anyway right, so that's done so this thing goes power adapter goes here and this thing goes to the power cable the cable the BNC cables all right power it up done with that one. and this is their mounting screw there's one two there's four of them all right then with that one. All right, so this one is still sealed. So I guess it's not an open box. Here is HDMI cable, setup guide with sticker, Ethernet cable, USB mouse, and the DVR itself it should be one TV. So here's the DVR, it's the Sirius TBD2. TBD2, gotta hide that one. Just Yes, important information there. So, and this thing is made in doesn't say doesn't say the year. Anyway, here's the back. So HDMI, US two USB port. One Ethernet port, power supply, and a channel. All right, so I'm gonna put this on top of my Zimodo. I'm gonna take out four of the cameras from the Zimodo uh, and replace it with the this plasticky camera from Night Owl. All right, let's get started. So here's my Zimodo that I have replacing, and right now if, here's the feed that it's uh, recording. It's only recording on three out of eight cameras so what I'm gonna do is uh, none of this I'm, I'm gonna keep those three cameras and the other one's way off right now I might I might replace number uh, four or number six I might replace I'll I'll see what which one is better anyway number one they're really gonna replace and number two I'm gonna replace the seven and eight, I don't know which, I forgot which one are, they are, so. Anyway, I'm gonna tinker with the, my Zimodo, so. I start, I'll start replacing the camera first. And the whole thing just died. The camera I'm replacing is this one here, the metal camera. There's one, and there's one on the rod side. So I'm gonna replace that with the plastic one. 
All right, so here's my setup. The front door, back door, cars, and uh, front lawn street parking. Uh, the fourth one right here, it's uh, the co it's right, so it's gonna, the thing got washed out. And uh, when I walk, I can't really see the face. And uh, the back door, the sun is still in the back. It looks nice. So I'm gonna start walking in front of them and see uh let me know what you think so i'm gonna start with the back door So that was me. Now I'm gonna show you the night shot. I'm gonna do it at night. I'm gonna play this at night and see what it looks like. Alright, uh, here's the night shot. I'm gonna walk around there. See if you can see me. I don't know what happened to the back door again. It's just the second time it happened today. Let me fix that if I can. Anyway, I'll fix that later. Let me uh, walk outside. Well, one of the cameras already broke it. It broke last night when I was doing my demo on the night vision. Instead of the infrared turning on, the spotlight turned on and it never turned off. I unplugged it already for several hours and thinking maybe if I plug it in during the day again and it's gonna turn up but no spotlight still on and no signal on the TV. I'm gonna switch wires with the other one next camera next to it and see if it turns up and see the and get signal with that and then it's the I'm gonna test that too directly into the machine with the wires that came with it and if it's still on then time to return the whole thing. So one out of four camera is bad. This one it died after a few hours. The rest is still running. It's been over a week and the three is still running. This one I'm waiting for a replacement which came in today. And uh, let me show you why the video wasn't uh, showing on this one. It was getting no signal. It's because the there you see that light it was taking all the power I think there's a short there so it wasn't getting any more power into the camera itself so there was no signal I mean there's power going in but this thing will just on oh, it doesn't stop anymore it just keeps light just stays on all day all night for some reason it's supposed to when it happy it started uh, 
it broke at around, around night time. This thing was supposed to turn to infrared, but it didn't. It turned to spotlight, and the spotlight just just took over, and uh, no more. Uh, no, no, so it's not getting any power anywhere else. I think this might there might be a short. So I just get the like I said, I just get the replacement today. It took about a week to uh, get it. I uh, I did the RMA. It was painless. Uh, you, I did chatting though, but they recommend you to call them. But I like to do the chat, so I have a record of it, and they just email it to me and the chat, the chat session, and they were very uh, responsive. You ask a question, they answer, yeah. and they apologize if they don't reply. Like in a within two days, forty-eight hours, they don't reply. The or was it twenty-four? I don't remember now, and and they respond right away. So let's open the. Let me unplug this first. Hopefully they send me the right camera. Use the replacement. Kudos to UPS. Uh, kudos to UPS, USPS because it's Christmas season and this thing was shipped on Monday and it came in today. Two days before Christmas. There's the replacement. Nothing else in the bag, just a replacement. And here's the replacement, it's the right camera. It comes with the hardware again. I'm just gonna reuse the same hardware only here. Oh, I lost one of the screws. Oh, fine. No worries. So, you and I are gonna see if this thing works, and hopefully it'll last longer. It's doing the blinking light again. Let's see the TV. Hopefully, it's there's a video on it. So, all right, it's working here. See. It's uh, it's looking at the TV. Inception. And let me turn it to my face. Look at my face. Fat face. Why am I red? It's weird how this thing record red. Anyway, uh, so right now everything is working. Right now at this moment. Anyway, if there's any issues with it again, and uh, if this thing breaks or one of the camera breaks, I'll probably do another RMA. And all right, camera number two is back right there. The doorway, the sliding door with a bunch of garbage bags on the floor. All right. So it's working, and I don't know why it's recording right now. Someone is walking over there. So it's all it's all working now. Like I said, if it's uh, having issues again, before 30 days, I'm going to return the whole thing. If it happens after that, then I'm just going to do a warranty claim because the, they're pretty good at uh, doing their warranty. Alright, that's it. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Help, I hope it, this helps in your uh, purchasing, uh, evaluating on what, if you're going to need, buy, want to buy or not. Alright, that's it. Uh, hope to see you next time. Have a nice day. Enjoy your Christmas. If, if you see this during Christmas, or if not, uh, have a nice day. Alright, thank you. Goodbye.